this is my HP laptop with i5 second generation processor and 12 GB of RAM this was purchased in 2011 and it came with Windows 7 but I installed Windows XP 64 bit version so that it can use whole 12 GB of RAM and I installed many other operating systems also but now let's check the RAM I remove the battery first then I remove the back panel Here I have one TB of SSD so that I inst can install all the operating systems and here is the memory installed. As you can see it's 4 GB of DDR3 RAM and underneath here is the 8 GB of DDR3 RAM. So there is a total 12 GB of RAM. Now I am closing the back panel as well as the battery. Now I am booting See it has 12 GB installed with an i5 processor and the factory installed operating system is Windows 7. Now I am going to start Windows XP Professional 64 bit. See, I have all operating systems installed starting from Windows 10 64 bit, Windows 10 32 bit, 8.1 64 bit, and 32 bit, Windows 7 64 bit, as well as 32 bit, Windows Vista 64 bit, as well as 32 bit, Windows XP 64 bit, as well as 32. And these versions of Linux such as Ubuntu LTS 32 bit and CentOS 7 64 bit. Here is the Ubuntu 8.04 LTS and CentOS Linux 7. As well as I have installed Android. Same as like UV loader inside Windows 7. I have installed Android inside Windows. Sorry, inside CentOS 7. However, for the time being, I am now going to start Windows XP and play some old DOS based games. And I am starting Windows XP Professional 32 bit. I will run the DOS games without any use of DOS box natively under Windows XP 32 bit. That's why I have installed Windows XP Professional 32 bit. That is the XP startup sound.
it doesn't take time as it has got an SSD. Now let's run YouTube. and playing a video that's what nicely it's just a windows 12 concept the videos play move smoothly at 480 pixels and even at 720 pixels that's the HD version I can even try full HD 1080 pixels and yet it runs smoothly but the only drawback of using a 32 bit edition of windows be it windows XP, Vista 7, 8.1 or 10 is that it is limited to less than 4 GB of RAM even though I have more amount of memory installed it uses only 2.7 GB of RAM however we are here to play DOS games so let's start the dangerous day 3 it was my childhood game I used to play when I was in school this is the dangerous day 3 Yeah, I have got the sounds it's so exciting that I can play DOS game from my laptop as well as run YouTube and newer softwares see I have killed a baboon in the tree <laughs> now I am going to kill a grizzly bear in the forest Yeah, I have killed it. I have killed it too. Really nostalgic feeling of running Dangerous Day 3. Oh, I have got killed. I have placed shift accidentally. Again, I have placed. So here the dangerous dev 
actually runs well on my new laptop and it runs natively without the use of any emulators like DOSBox. I will run another game that's Tom and Jerry which is the DOS game It's so funny running these old DOS based games in my new laptop. Another DOS game is there. There's the Dino Ball, there's the Dinosaur Balls. It's so funny running them in my new one laptop. It's so funny running them. I can also run Doom. Here is the Doom. Starting a new game. What? I, am, I am too young to die.
so it also runs doom quite well no. I'm not actually quitting to Windows XP, not DOS. If it were Windows 98, it would have not stopped soon. Now I'm going to run the speed car. That's another well known DOS game. I can also play the dangerous dip that's the actually the first game So I can play such old games in my i5 laptop with second generation processor. That's the end of this video. I will see you next time. Let's now shut down Windows XP. Don't forget to like this video and please subscribe my channel. It has not shut down yet.